Hi family, how are you? <laughs> it's me, Miss Samwagwan. How are you doing? So, <clears throat> let me do a reading on Cher and this guy who she's dating. <laughs> Cher, my love. The guy is, she is six, seventy. how old is she, Wolan? <laughs> 70 what? Hold on. <clears throat> the guy is 37 years old. And apparently they're madly in love. You ever heard so much boulder dash crap in your life? 70 something years old and he's 20 something years old. <clears throat> anyway, something is wrong because he said that he has met her children and she has met his children. Now, no doubt his kids think that she's fun because that's grandma and grandma's got money and she can take us to Disney World and whatever. You know, I mean, <clears throat> AI has children with uh, Kanye West's ex-girlfriend, Amber Rose, right? And, um, <laughs> boy, good Lord. The guy's name is Alexander what? Hold on. Hold on a second. I'm going to pull some cards, all right? So Cher, Cher's boyfriend. I just put, <laughs> you know, I'm laughing family, but it's not a laughing matter. It's not a laughing matter, you know. Oh, listen. I need you to walk with me, and I need you to talk with me. <laughs> I need you to kiss goodnight, and I need you to hold me tight. You, babe. <clears throat> I got you, babe. <laughs> I got flowers in the spring. Well, what's his name? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I just got them to turn off the AC yesterday. And I've just come from Gory Island. And I was in the Chambres, the um, Chambres the, of the enslaved Africans who were, uh, it's very emotional family. Very, very emotional. But uh, this video ain't really about that. But this is what, um, anyway. I'll post some um, of the shorts here on my YouTube channel and I'll post some stuff on Facebook as well. You can go over to Facebook and have a look at some of the stuff I've put in there. Okay, so Cher and this guy. Cher was so sexy and beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, she was the goddess of pop, wasn't she, at one time? I'm just going from the article here. And um, but anyway, she's, you know, she was with Bono. That was her ex-husband, Sonny and Bono. Well, not Bono. Bono is from U2, Bono, okay? And she was just, she's had, she was with Greg Ullman. They made a very, very nice looking couple. She was with Sonny. I got you, babe. And um, now she's with this guy. Called, called A, whatever his name is, Alexander, whatever. So, what's she saying about this new guy? Hold on. Ah, sod it. What I'll do is I'll just find some, I'll just find the energies around them via this portal. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what he says about her and what she says about him. It doesn't matter at all. You know, they don't even have to talk to each other. They're obviously both getting something from the relationship, okay? But there is something worrying about it because she is much, much, much older. And some something may be off with it. I'm not saying that it's... Yeah, I'm saying it's strange, okay? And I refuse to believe that, that Cher's son... Chastity, it was, who was Chastity? I don't know his name now. But 
the son and the other child. I refuse to believe that they are just taking this Alexander bloke on as, you know, mummy's new boyfriend. When mummy's got a fortune of how many millions? 53 million or something like that? And this guy is this a model? Look. <laughs> is a lot. <laughs> Anywho, let's pull some cards, okay? Oh, Miss Sam, you're so cynical. You're so terrible, Miss Sam. Just because, just because you doesn't mean to say that. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Okay, it does mean to say that. Whatever you're gonna say. Okay, so let's pull some cards. Um, how does Cher feel about him? Okay, Alexander, Amber Rose's ex, who's her boyfriend now, <laughs> who shares boyfriend. Oh, Lord. Okay. <sighs> Eight of Cups. She has tried to leave him several times. See Cher there in the red, in the red um, thing, in the red cloak. The interesting thing about this, see the cups up there? That, all them cups refer to this one relationship. So there's been times when she has tried to leave this boy, tried to leave him alone, either to walk away from him, not communicate with him, but he's, but either she goes back to him or he finds his way to her to convince her to get back with him. It's very worrying that this short relationship could be so strong and impactful that she's tried several times to leave already and can't leave. Something, something a bit odd with that, right? Short relationship, not like she'd been with him for two, three years. <clears throat> and every six months, you know, she decides she's gonna leave. No, they've had this short relationship, three, four months. And she's tried to leave this many times. But it keeps pulling her back. I'm wondering what this red robe on her means. Is there a soul tie formed already? And how? How was that soul tie formed? Who matched them together? Because you see, this blonde haired fool, where did he meet her? She and him did not mix in the same circles. So somebody had to introduce them. <clears throat> Hmm. Hold on a second. Call to do Mary. Card. Hmm. Ten of Swords. Look here. Ten of Swords. She ain't stupid. She knows this guy's going to mess her up and destroy her. So why does she? It's like she's volunteered to card. Hold on. Bit odd. Wow. Three of swords. So he's been cheating on her anyway. My gosh. <clears throat> this three of swords card is usually about heartbreak and heartache and, and the ending of a relationship. But the three swords refers to somebody else that he is involved in, that she knows about. But she's happy to be in a <clears throat> relationship with him, knowing that he's not just with her anyway. Like she's deliberately self-sabotaging herself on purpose. She's deliberately destroying herself <clears throat> on purpose. And there's the Three of Swords here in reverse. There's the third party there, who Alexander, AI, whatever his name is, is stepping out with. But yet, she's trying to leave him and can't leave him. Pull some more cards. <clears throat> this is interesting, huh? Ain't this interesting? Hmm. Huh.
Because you see, it seemed as if psychically things were going one way and then they started going another. And I haven't told you about either one of those ways yet. I'm just waiting for more information to come because it's a bit, bit of an odd one. Hey, that boy is fleecing you. Five of coins here in reverse. This guy, Alexander, is basically telling Shear that he is her god. He is her guru. I knew there was something else going on. He has been placed in Shea's life as some kind of spiritual figure, but he's having some kind of sexual interaction with her. He has a chick and he's also fleecing her of money. Now, this is all disclaimer, it's all bullshit, so you don't listen to me, okay? It's just for entertainment purposes only. But, Cher, girl, you in danger. You are in danger. The boy gonna take your money. He's taking your money. And not just little bits of it as well. Because Cher ain't no way in this world or the next few worlds that this poverty card should come up for you, Cher. Really, this poverty card? Really? And this is not just about spiritual... It's not just about material poverty, your money, that this guy is siphoning. My gosh, he's poking holes in your bags and draining the money. Huh? Draining that money. And to be honest with you, it's not even really important what he does with the money, but he's taking it. So he is take, he's taking advantage of share. And for some reason, I don't know if she's not in a... I wonder if she's suffering from, like, Alzheimer's or something like dementia or something like that. Could be, you know. Because why else would she deliberately self-sabotage herself like that? Big old woman like Cher, who's had boyfriend after boyfriend after boyfriend, who is not new to any of this Hollywood stuff. Hmm? How is she going to let this little whippersnapper boy, blonde-haired, box blonde boy, come take our money? Huh? How? Well, she's a sucker for spirituality, as most Hollywood folks are, suckers for alternative spirituality. Alternative. Okay? And I don't mean Ifa, Santeria, uh, Paolo Mayumbe, I don't mean anything like that. I don't even mean Satanism, I'm just saying.